Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to the amazing power of curves in Photoshop. Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's episode, we're gonna introduce one of the fundamental tools for editing your photos in Photoshop. It's called Curves, and for those of you who are just beginning in Photoshop, you're gonna see this is one of those tools that will make a huge difference in any one of your images. Curves can be used to lighten or darken any part of your image, and they can be used for color correction as well. Let's get into Photoshop and show you a simple example of how you can change an image dramatically with just a couple curves layers. Here's our image for today. You can download this on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. To start off, we're gonna go up here to Layer, down to New Adjustment Layer, and over to Curves. Let's hit OK there. And our Curves dialog basically has the information of our image. This is called a histogram, with your dark information being on the left and your light information being on the right. Now, if you take this center point and simply click and drag up, you're gonna lighten your whole image. If you drag this down, you're gonna darken your entire image. Now, the great thing about these curves adjustment layers is they always come with a layer mask. So let's say I want to brighten, you know, this area where my subject is inside of this like doorway. I just want to brighten that up. So let's go ahead and just drag that a little bit brighter. There we go. But now if I turn this layer off and on, you can see it affects my entire image, which I don't necessarily want. So I'm going to click on my layer mask and we're just going to fill this with black, which is going to make this curves adjustment layer invisible. We'll go to edit down to fill, and I'm just gonna choose black. So let's hit okay there, and you're gonna see now this layer is no longer visible. So at this point, I can paint white on my layer mask just where I want it to be visible, and it's gonna brighten up those areas. So let's go ahead and choose our brush tool. Now we're gonna choose white as our foreground color, and I just wanna choose like a large soft edge brush here, and I'm gonna paint white on my layer mask. So what I'm able to do basically is just paint in the areas that I'd like to be a little bit lighter. And everywhere I paint is just gonna get a little bit lighter. Now, this is a wonderful part of curves, but it doesn't really stop there. For instance, if I double click right here, I can actually make those areas even brighter, or I could decide to make them darker as well. So you can choose which areas you'd like to affect and then always change their light levels after the fact. Let's go ahead and turn that layer off and on so you can see the difference. Here's our before and the after. So adjusting your lights and darks is one of the basic principles of using curves. You can also use curves to adjust your colors. Let's start by creating another curves adjustment layer. We'll go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over to curves. We'll hit okay. And this time in our little drop down window here, we're gonna click and you can see we have the option to change our reds, greens, and blues. And for instance, let's go to our red channel if I click here in the middle and drag that up, you're gonna see it's gonna add more red into my image. And if I go down, it's gonna add the opposite color, which is cyan. So red and cyan are both available in the red channel. The green channel is gonna be green and magenta. There we are. And our blue channel is gonna be blues and yellows. So let's say we wanna make this image just a little bit warmer. I'm gonna to go to my blue channel and click and drag down just a tiny bit, and you can see it's gonna add yellow. Now, if you go too far down, it's not gonna look realistic, but we're just gonna go down just a little bit, and it's gonna add some yellows. And then we're gonna go to our red channel, and I'm gonna drag this up a little bit, which is gonna add some red. And red and yellow intersect to make orange. So let's go ahead and turn that off and on, and you can see we've warmed our image up in a really nice way. Again, you can always lower the opacity or paint on your layer mask to control your visibility. And there you have it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and after. Here's our before and the after. So you can see curves are incredibly powerful and easy to use. And if you're ever not sure where to start with your photo editing, curves are a great place. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We'll send you free tutorials every single week. Thanks again. I'll flirt you later. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.
I'll see you later. Goodbye. That's one for the history books. Celebrate from East Coast to West Coast. Everyone enjoys the power of curves. <laughs>